thank you for taking some time in your church service to watch this video and receive a short update from Warrington Youth for Christ about what's going on at the moment. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kim and I'm the Latchford Youth Worker and my role is reaching young people right where they are in our Latchford Secondary Schools, Sir Thomas Butler and Cardinal Newman and in the local community. Now obviously 2020 has been a very strange year where many of the ways in which we would normally do things have changed a lot. So I hope you enjoy this short video montage giving you a little bit of a flavour of what we've been up to these last few months. Music Monday, it's Tell a Story Tuesday, Wisdom Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Fun and Games Friday. Hi guys, so how are you doing with self-isolation? How do you feel when you hear the phrase going back to normal? I started to say to myself, you know, what is life all about? This week is Mental Health Awareness Week. What do you want to be when you grow up? We should love each other, respect each other. Some great tips for getting good sleep. What are you thankful for? Jesus said that he had come to give life and to life in all its fullness. In the Bible, there's some really incredible advice. Why am I a Christian? Twenty twenty has been a challenging year to say the least. Right at the beginning of this COVID period and the lockdowns and the school closures and everything that went with that, we decided as a team that we would pray together every morning for thirty minutes of every day of the week. And we've been doing that for the last six, seven months. God has really answered prayer and come through for us. We've seen new schools open up to us that we'd never worked in previously. We've seen financial blessing. We really thought we might be in trouble, but actually God's been faithful there. We've seen a couple of grants come through that have helped cover any shortfalls and gaps. Before the schools reopened in September, all our ministry went online. We were doing mentoring online. We were doing our after school fresh clubs online encouraging those young people that we'd worked with before to continue on in their faith for those who were being mentored our staff were literally a lifeline helping them and encouraging them supporting them with many issues that they were facing over that period we're now back in the high schools and staff are asking our our staff to get alongside the students so mentoring's exploded Virtually every member of the team are getting alongside young people, helping them work through some of their issues. Certainly things that they encountered over that lockdown time uh, are coming out now. And so to have someone there that can support them, listen to them, give them some godly sound advice is pivotal really at this time. Surprisingly, two new schools have just recently been in touch with us, schools that we've not previously worked in, asking us to do virtual assemblies for their students so we're able to serve those schools and a door's opening now to get more resources in. And with the uncertainty of things going forward, as a team we've decided to retain our online presence as well as doing the face-to-face -face interactions with young people in school settings and detached work. We want to be there for our young people wherever they're at, whether they're stuck at home or whether they're in school or in the local community. We're currently doing an online short course called The Way. And it's just an introduction really to the Christian faith. Who is God? Why did Jesus die for us? Who is the Holy Spirit? Bringing young people on a journey online to a place where they can accept the Lord for themselves. 
it's really exciting for us and we'd ask if you would stand with us in prayer to pray for those young people who really want to see salvation things have been hindered this year we've not been able to do some of the mission weeks in school and outside of school some of the events that we would normally run where we'd see hundreds of young people hearing the gospel and many of those young people responding to so we want to give them that opportunity online. So please do stand with us and pray as we take young people on that journey of faith. And as we go forward in school and out of school, our mandate still remains. We want to see young people's lives changed by Jesus. These last few months have really made me realise how important a social media presence is. Social media can be an amazing place of friendship and community and joy, but for so many young people, social media is a really dark place. A place of cyberbullying and peer pressure and low self-esteem and unhealthy body image. And developing a social media ministry has really made us realise how important it is that we share the love of Jesus in this space. We all know people who are always on their smartphone and that's the culture that our young people today have been brought up in. And I find it so exciting to think that in those moments when a young person is going through a tough time or is in need of some encouragement or even is just struggling to get to sleep, that when they go on their phone, they can find a video encouraging them and reminding them of God's love for them, of God's purpose for their life. I'm also back in school at the moment doing quite a bit of mentoring. So we would really appreciate it if you could be praying for young people at this time. Praying for those young people who are really struggling with the aftermath of all this. And praying for all the youth workers and teachers in high schools who are doing their best to support young people. That God would give them the right words to say, the right advice to give. And that God would fill us with his love for young people. If you ever want to know more about what's going on, you can sign up to receive our newsletter. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram, or you are more than welcome to get in touch with me. I look forward to seeing you again in person very soon, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your service.